Hello everyone, I'm Chekacheg and I just got back from the Intel Ultra Core Series 2 launch here in the UK and I have the opportunity to game with the all new Ultra Core Series 2 processors including the 5, the Ultra 7 and the Ultra 9 series. So let me tell you what it's all about. First of all, let me break down the specification of the new processor. So we got a couple of different tiers. I will leave it all here in the screen and the price will vary depending on what we're choosing. So we got the Ultra Fire for 295 or we can go all the way up to the Ultra 7, even the Ultra 9 285K. That is the flight chip, 589 pounds, offering 24 cores and 24 threads and a maximum of 5.7 gigahertz. So these chips are not just a upgrade. They are the first chips designed for AI in desktop computing, bringing significant performance enhancements with a 32% IPC uplift over the previous generation, so generation 14, making them faster and more efficient than ever. So during my gaming station with the Ultra 9 285K, I was blown away by its performance. It handled demanding games effortlessly, providing a stunning vicious and high frame rates even in intense action scenes. The Ultra 7 265K on the other hand also performing remarkably well, making it a fantastic option for gamers who want a great performance without breaking the bank, to be honest. But what really impressed me is how these processors have achieved a 30% lower power consumption compared to Intel's 14th generation. So it means that you enjoy high performance while keeping your energy bill that we only need just in check. And they deliver over a 10% better multi-threading performance, more than double the graphical performance, and that features a 2x L2 catch for improvement responsiveness. And um, AI is all over the place, not just the buzzwords, the, the word of the year now. And in this new chip is actively contributing to your gaming experience. Because these processors are supporting up to 32 tops for AI processing, enabling features that enhance graphic, optimize gameplay, and improve load time with up to 36 megabytes share LLC and a 2X AI. So you can expect smarters, NPCs, and more immersive worlds, making every gaming session feel fresh and engaging. Well, let me talk about the architecture in general, because that new Ultra Series 2 features the SkyMon EQs and Lion Cove P cores. So designed for maximum efficiency and performance, optimizing resources uses for gaming and multitasking scenarios. And as I mentioned in the beginning, I have the chance to put this new chips during multiplayer games in like a LAN party scenario. Um, the results were fantastic. The Ultra 9 285K provides a seamless experience allowing me to reach quickly and stay competitive. While the Ultra 7 265K keeps up remarkably well with less demanding titles, making it perfect for occasional gaming. So to very quickly wrap it up and summarize, Intel's new Ultra Core Series 2 processors, including the Ultra 5 245, Ultra 7 265, and the Ultra 9 285 are impressively advancements in gaming technology. They deliver exceptional performance with low power consumption, making it ideal for gaming looking to maximize the experience without that extra heat of energy costs and of course that heat that's going to generate in general then new chips and with AI enhancement your gameplay just got smarter. X XESS got even smarter and all that upscaling technology just got a two, three or even four times better than before. And I want to thank Intel for this amazing experience at the launch event in here in the UK. So if you have any questions or thought about this new processor, just drop in in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, then check tech, and I will see you on the next one. Adios.